ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann. This is the Afternoon Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 18th day of March. Big, severe weather issues off to the west. The big question well, we have a big severe weather issue here tomorrow. Well, let's take a look. Here's a look at some SkyCam shots coming from the SkyCam network uh, at midday today. Clouds are pretty thick. Uh, there's a look at the sky over Chilton County down in Clanton. Accordingly, with the uh, lack of sunshine, temperature's not quite as warm as we expected today. But we've still got some time for the sun to break out this afternoon. Readings mostly in the uh, mid, uh, mid to upper 60s now. Uh, downtown Birmingham looking south, top of the Daniel Building. Again, it's cloudy and windy up there. We've seen winds gusting to uh, 40 miles per hour. And boy, the surf is rough down at the Alabama Gulf Coast. That's the uh, sky cam on top of the Phoenix All Suites looking down over the beach. And uh, we've got uh, very rough surf and riptides along the uh, central Gulf Coast as uh, winds are howling down there as well. Well, there's the reason for all the trouble. That big trough, the uh, thing is really uh, almost a uh, closed upper low at this point south of El Paso over Mexico. In advance of that, a variety of problems. A couple of tornado watches out, uh, one for Arkansas and northeastern Texas, one deeper into Texas and over Louisiana. Both of those are PDS watches. That means that uh, the Storm Prediction Center believes this is a particularly dangerous situation with the possibility of some long-track tornadoes. And in that same region, there's a moderate risk of severe weather over a pretty good chunk of Louisiana, southern Arkansas, and eastern Texas. Surrounding that, a slight risk up to the uh, far western part of Alabama. And, of course, th this period ends at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, and that's about the time the storm should be moving in here, probably about 6 o'clock. And then on day two, all of Alabama in a risk, a slight risk. And it's the uh, typical case of uh, very little instability but tremendous forcing and makes for an interesting forecast situation, as you'll see. And we'll say this, some big rains are likely uh, from around the Red River up to near Columbus, Ohio, including places like Cincinnati and Paducah and Cape Girardeau. The amounts there are 5 to 7 inches showing up, and around here the amounts are between 1 and 1.5 and inches, and we'll sure take the rain. This is where we are tomorrow at noon. Uh, coming off the 12Z GFS, the upper trough is lifting out down at the surface. Got a 996 millibar surface low really near Pittsburgh with a trailing cold front down into East Alabama. And it sure looks like the storm should enter the western part of the state about 5 or 6 o'clock and then exit into Georgia by 1 o'clock. And that means for the Birmingham Metro, we're talking mid-morning, 9 o'clock, something like that, when the things blow through here. Here's the instability, hardly any, but there is a little more showing up now on the uh, latest uh, wharf model here. Uh, this is suggesting surface-based capes of uh, over uh, 250 and even a few spots over 750 up in Tennessee. The lapse rates are pretty marginal. That's one of the problems here, but uh, still the instabilities are a little higher on this run, and the wind fields are just screaming there. I mean, uh, this is the uh, zero to one kilometer helicity tomorrow morning, and so there could be a few isolated tornadoes here, but it's not going to take a whole lot to bring all of that wind down to the surface. So the primary threat would be from low top, a low top squall line, probably not much thunder and lightning, a good chance of strong straight line winds, and maybe in a few of the segments in the line, a few isolated tornadoes. So once again, we'll be on severe weather duty tomorrow morning. Thursday, it's all out of here. Should be a beautiful day. Sunshine back in full force. Friday looking good. Note that little surface low, though, uh, over St. Louis. That thing's going to pass north of the state, but by golly, that's going to pull down some cooler air for the Easter weekend. Uh, Saturday, the surface low is approaching Washington, D.C. We have a northerly flow, and uh, accordingly, highs drop from near 70 on Friday back into the low and mid-60s on Saturday. And then Sunday, when that little Vortmax blows through here on Easter, now there's no moisture to work with, and the air is cold. So the trend here is for us to uh, go to a colder forecast on Easter Sunday and take out the chance of rain, and we'll probably do that. In the afternoon package, uh, that would suggest highs only in the low and mid-50s there. So we'll bring the numbers on down considerably. And then Monday of next week, we start to warm up again as the air stays dry. So the, the chance for Easter Sunday, chance of rain really diminishing, but also it looks like it's going to be a rather cool day. 
We'll go out four more days. The 28th, the GFS has backed off on the idea of a big long wave trough and a big storm deal here. It's got a trough, but it's much weaker and farther north. It's got some rain and storms in here, but not as dynamic as the look we saw this morning. And at the end of the cycle on the 3rd of April, boy, that's a historic day. A lot of weird things have happened on that day. We've had snowstorms, tornado outbreaks. That's the, the beginning of the super outbreak in 1974. Uh, that looks relatively benign, but hey, you know what that is. That's out there in voodoo country. Uh, that's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog, and of course, we invite you to stay tuned to the blog for updates on this thunderstorm event tomorrow morning. Uh, I don't know if I can crank out a video early in the morning. Depends on the weather. If so, we'll have it by 7. If not, the next one will be tomorrow afternoon. And don't forget to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Wait, wait, wait.